Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spain on a Fork. In today's episode, we're making a Spanish tuna saute. Ladies and gentlemen, this is truly such an extraordinary dish. It is so healthy, easy to make, and it packs a big punch of Mediterranean flavors. This is the kind of food that makes your taste buds want to dance. What? What? <laughs> Seriously, guys, such a beautiful dish and made with very basic Mediterranean staples like olives, capers, garlic, lemon. But let me tell you, when you combine all these ingredients together, you truly get this beautiful explosion of flavors, guys. This dish is so easy to make. Like, I know I've said that before, but seriously, it's going to blow you away how easy it is to put together. It is going to rock your world. Let's dive right in. The ingredients you're going to need to make this beautiful Spanish tuna saute are two fillets of tuna. I bought mine fresh. If you prefer, you can buy yours frozen. Just make sure you thaw them out before you get started. One tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, four cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons of jarred capers, eight cherry tomatoes, 12 black Spanish olives, 12 green Spanish olives, one teaspoon of dry thyme, and a handful of fresh parsley. I'm gonna begin by grabbing four cloves of garlic and thinly slicing them. Next up, I'm gonna grab a handful of fresh parsley and finely chop it. We should end up with a generous tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I've got my two fresh tuna steaks here. Again, guys, you can buy it frozen. Just make sure that you completely thaw it out. I'm gonna pat it down with some paper towels. This is an important step whether you buy yours frozen and thaw it out or buy it fresh in the market to remove any of that excess moisture inside of the tuna to give it a beautiful texture. Then I'm going to cut the tuna steaks into one inch cubes. And as you're cutting your tuna steaks, try to cut them all in the same size. That way when we saute them, they all cook evenly. And for the final step, we're going to season our pieces of tuna with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm going to grab a fry pan and heat it with a medium high heat. The technique we are using today, once again, is sauteing. We're not gonna be adding fat into the pan until the pan is nice and hot. So we're gonna go between three to four minutes on a medium high heat with nothing in the pan. After four minutes, I'm gonna add in a generous tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil into the pan. Swirl it around that way, the olive oil covers the entire surface. And add in the pieces of tuna. As you guys can see, I'm flipping the pan around to move the pieces of tuna. If you're uncomfortable with this technique, just get in there and mix it around with a spatula. Ninety seconds after adding the pieces of tuna into the pan, and they all have this beautiful light golden color to them, I'm going to remove them from the pan and transfer them to a bowl. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm going to add in another tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Mix it around so it covers the entire surface. And add in the four cloves of garlic that we thinly sliced. And you want to mix this continuously, that way those garlics don't burn. 20 seconds after adding the garlic into the pan, you don't want to overcook it. I'm going to add in our 12 green Spanish olives, our 12 black Spanish olives, our two tablespoons of capers, our eight cherry tomatoes, squeezing one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, and season it with freshly cracked black pepper. You don't wanna add salt here. Those olives and capers are already gonna add that saltiness to this dish. We're gonna mix this, that way everything comes together. 30 seconds after adding these ingredients into the pan, I'm gonna add the tuna back into the party adding one teaspoon of dried thyme and our generous tablespoon of freshly chopped parsley. Give this a quick mix, that way everything comes together. Remove the pan from the heat and transfer it into a serving dish. Guys, our dish is then. How easy was it to put this together? Look at all the beautiful colors and flavors. Let's give this a try and see how it turned out. <laughs> okay, guys, seriously, can it get any better looking than this? Let's give it a try. Try to grab a little bit of everything here. Here we go, cheers. What can I say? 
It's an incredible explosion of flavors, the tuna, the olives, the capers, the garlic, the lemon juice, beautiful combination of flavors, so easy to make. Guys, these are very simple ingredients, but we combine them all together, incredible explosion of Mediterranean flavors. The tuna, right on the money, you wanna go about 90 seconds in the pan, take it out of the pan, and then back into the pan with the rest of the ingredients for about 30 seconds, perfection in tuna, guys. Incredible dish, very simple ingredients, done in about 20 minutes. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, David Blom. Again, David, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you want to support Spain on Fork on Patreon, help with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this, you'll find that link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.